How much DNA do half-siblings share? Have you ever wondered how much DNA you share with your half-siblings? It's a fascinating topic that can help you understand your family connections better. To start, let's compare half-siblings to full-siblings. Full-siblings share both parents, which means they typically share around 50% of their DNA. This is because they inherit DNA from both the same mother and father. However, half-siblings only share one parent, either the mother or the father. When you share only one parent, the amount of DNA you share with your half-sibling is significantly less. On average, half-siblings share about 25% of their DNA. This percentage comes from the fact that you both inherit half of your DNA from the shared parent, but not the same exact half. To put this into numbers, half-siblings usually share between 1,160 to 2,436 centimorgans CNA. This range can vary because DNA inheritance is random, and you might not always get the exact same segments from your shared parent. Here's an interesting point. The amount of DNA shared between half-siblings can sometimes overlap with the amount shared between first cousins. First cousins typically share around 12.5% of their DNA, or about 680 to 1,150 centimeters. So if the centimorgans you share with your half-sibling fall within a certain range, they might show up as a first cousin on your DNA test results instead of as a close family member. DNA tests can accurately determine if someone is your half-sibling by looking at the amount of DNA you share and whether there are any fully identical regions. For instance, if you and your potential half-sibling share between 1,160 to 2,436 centimeters of DNA and there are no fully identical regions, it's likely you are half-siblings. In summary, half-siblings share about 25% of their DNA, which is roughly the same amount they would share with a grandparent. This unique percentage helps genealogists and individuals understand their family relationships more clearly.